Good afternoon guys from another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Lahore and in today's video I'm with the usual Brit over here, we've got Hello Harry. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon. And we've got our gentleman up here, we've got Naveed and one more time, uh, Shavaz. Shavaz, there we go. Great names and uh, these guys are going to be taking care of us. We are currently staying, if you saw in the previous videos, at the Pearl Continental and the staff has been so kind to help us get to the border for a very special and exciting ceremony that goes on every single day. So these good men are going to be driving us over there we're about maybe 30 or 45 minutes away depending on the traffic and uh, as you can see they really hooked it up here we've got wi-fi on board we've got water mints hand sanitizers extra masks a little bit of everything so it'll be a nice chill cruise on over there and uh, once we get over there we'll tell you a little bit more about it so guys as you can see we had a little accident already right here that oh, car no. just got crushed like a little can by this big truck that has a siren on it so you got to be careful when you're exploring here in pakistan especially if you're driving because there's a lot going on there's always someone coming from some direction and this guy does not look too happy about that one thing i'll mention for you guys we're actually heading to an atm specifically dubai islamic bank because what we've noticed after being in pakistan for the last two weeks or so is that only that ATM or that bank allows us to withdraw money. And we have completely different bank cards. He's from the United Kingdom, I'm from the United States, and we're cruising over to the Dubai Islamic Bank. There are multiple banks that have the name Islamic Bank in it, but it's specifically Dubai Islamic Bank. Harry has the Revolut. Revolut doesn't work here, so I'm using my debit at HSBC. HSBC, okay, so Revolut doesn't even work in Dubai Islamic Bank. Okay. No, no, it doesn't work in Pakistan. At all, oh, yeah. okay. Uh, so yeah, as you guys heard it, so if you're coming with a Revolut card, just keep that in mind. I'm using Charles Schwab, and that ATM card works in pretty much every country I've ever been to but it's only specific banks here because there's a lot of national banks here in Pakistan like you'll find in any country but those national banks for some reason at least every time we've tried while we've been here they don't work so you do need to find that Dubai Islamic Bank there's a lot of them all over we've never had an issue finding them both in Karachi and Lahore we're driving to one right now and that should take care of our needs so we did end up stopping at one Dubai Islamic Bank but I had some weird code on it so that being one of the banks that works, sometimes you're gonna run into issues. And this one was issuer link down. I'm not entirely certain what that means, but we're gonna try another bank on the way back because we don't wanna miss the ceremony. The ceremony starts at 3.30, so we're already gonna be cutting it quite close. But just for you guys' information, I looked it up while we were waiting here, why there's only a few banks we can pull money out of here. And I found a list, basically all of the international banks operating in Pakistan are Al Baraka Bank, Limited Barclays Bank, Citibank, Deutsche Bank, Dubai Islamic Bank, which is what we tried, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, Standard Chartered Bank, and the Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi. So maybe that's helpful for you if you see any of those banks. Those should work for withdrawing money. Otherwise, you can always withdraw money through typical currency exchange. That's like the backup plan. I brought some extra USD in case for some reason the cards didn't work. But now you know, not all Dubai Islamic Banks even work. So maybe we'll sort it out on the way back, hopefully, inshallah. But until then, we're going to cruise over there. Hopefully, we make it in time, guys. Another busy day down here in Lahore, as you can see, lots of traffic from every direction as we cruise closer to the border. Let's see where we fall on the map here. All right, as you guys can see, we are almost outside of the city. We're leaving Lahore right now. Still got a fair amount of distance, I'd say roughly about uh, 10 kilometers till we get to Wagha. So it looks like we had to cross through a toll here. Got about 45, 90, 230. It seems like all you guys really care about would be the car one. That's 45 rupees to go through the toll booth here. As you guys can see, it is pretty mind blowing. Even after being here for like 10 days, how much smog there is in the air. I know I said it before, but now that we have a little bit more visibility further out in terms of not having structures, we can just see like things are hazy and they're not even that far away. Like I would say this is a clear day. It doesn't look like there's any clouds up there but the sky still has a gray tint to it. So really, there's only a few places I've ever seen with this level of smog, and that was both in New Delhi and in Mumbai. It had a similar level of clarity in terms of how little you could see. We've got the police. This guy right here is just standing, having a phone call. Just another day. Salam. As you can see, guys, we are fighting traffic here. There's a lot going on on the streets right now, as per usual. Problem is, though, we're at 327, so we might only get the uh, closing last few minutes of the border ceremony. Inshallah, we'll be able to see at least a little bit. All right, 
right, so we just went through the uh, first border crossing. One piece of advice, make sure you bring your passport or some sort of identification. We haven't been asked yet, but my buddy Luke Demand went here before and he said that uh, definitely bring your passport because it'll cause some extra trouble sometimes. We have photos of them on our phone, so hopefully that gets us through. And we have our guys here who speak the local language and can get us through quicker. You know, if you're just coming on your own, just keep that in mind. and we're already probably at three or four checkpoints and then we get into a more serious checkpoint it looks like because they have bigger roadblocks and stopping points and quite a bit of military as you would expect at the border of India and Pakistan is it safe here yeah, yeah, it's safe here. very safe yeah perfect yeah, I have a safe here. Oh, okay yeah they have all the guards there in place to make sure it's safe yeah. So guys, we're uh, parking here and I just checked my phone and it looks like cell phone signal is completely cut on both SIM cards of mine. So usually one of my two SIM cards work because I have an eSIM and a physical SIM. Neither of them have service. So I would guess that right near the border, just for communication issues, uh, they chop them. Oh, we got our man selling some fresh drinks. So as you can see, it looks like there's a couple ways to get closer. We've got a train going by, and as you can see over there, we have the massive Pakistani flag. And apparently there's one that's exactly the same size over here on or over there on the Indian border side. I'm ready to check out this place. Hopefully we're gonna see it just in time, guys. It's about five minutes after three. Oh no, we're eight minutes after, so it's gonna be quite a squeeze to make it for the parade, but we'll at least be able to catch, I'd say the last 20 minutes or so of the ceremony. My guess is there's a few different areas where you can park. That's why there is a train that brings you all the way up here. So as you can see guys, every single day, this place is very busy. So it's 365 days per year this parade yes, yes, happens. Yes, yeah, yes. wow. So every day guys, imagine that same parade. I'm very excited to see it. Especially if there's this many people on just any random day of the week, that's uh, pretty significant. As you can see, we got the boys getting some fresh picks. Looking good, gentlemen, looking good. Stunner shades on. We are almost there. You can already see India. The last time I was in India was in 2014, but I've never actually made it to the other side, India's side of the border. But it'll be cool to be able to look across and see how many people are on the other side. On the other side in India, there's a lot of people there too. Yes. Now you can really see how large that flag is as we're much closer. No Indian flag up though. They took it down? Yes. Oh. Got the whistleblower right there, making some noise. Wow, quite an experience to be arriving here. I know those traditional Pakistani, yeah, Pakistani. yeah. and that's for military to wear the headband. Yeah, I like that. It almost looks like a uh, kind of like a, a fan in the air. Salam. We got Rashid here, looking good. Rashid, looking good. As you can see, we're getting louder as we get closer to it. So we're walking up to the gates here. This is quite an experience, literally. That is Pakistan right up here, and right across is India. So that is so cool. Oh yeah, we've got our own spots right over here. The boys are ready for everything. Assalamu alaikum. Look at how many people are here, all up in the stands. Whoa, we've got the full squad on one side, but it seems like India has way more people than in Pakistan. All right, we've got the uh, multiple levels of security bringing us. All right, here we are, thank you. As you can see, it's so close. That's India right there. We've got armed guards, nobody's crossing that. That's a fact. Quite an experience, I will say. These are like some heavy duty military guys right here. They've got the uh, earpieces in. They've got some pretty decent artillery. And you have the exact same thing on the Indian side of the border. I wish we could go a little bit closer, but we don't want to test the waters today. Hopefully you guys can hear this all right. It looks like, I will say, Pakistan's Arena is about half the size of India's because we have seats going to way higher levels and all the way over there There's even another level all the way to the top. All right now. We got some things happening We got our man over here. He's on one foot right now guys one foot spinning around he already has one leg. Oh, he only has one leg and he's spinning around perfect balance as you can see guys that's exactly where we are on the map right in between pakistan and india pretty crazy to see it like when you just look at google maps and zoom out a bit uh, we've got the pakistan cheer going on uh, you can hear india over there it sounds like they've got a uh, sports announcer yeah the seats are really starting to fill up now hey bro hey bro how much for a flag? 100. 100, you got change, boss? Can we get two of them? Two of them? 
Uh, we got a good price here. We're paying about 80 cents for some fresh Pakistan flags. You gotta raise them accordingly. Cheers, my guy. Shukri. Oh, that one's a dirty one. We got some duty ru or dirty uh, Pakistani rupees back, but it'll have to do. I got it to a couple, bro. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Sponsored by Harry Jaggard. So, guys, this video, if you want to show him support for buying these Pakistan flags, go right down to that description, click on his link, and give him a subscribe right now and a fatty old like on that button, all right? Let's go. Can we go up there? I'll pick you. We're gonna see if our guys get a special access, baby. All right, we got our man bringing out a flag right up to the gentleman in the hat. Pakistan going wild up there, bro. Seems like it's a uh, cheer off right now. The crowd is going wild. And we got our hype man, he's just sending it right now. <laughs> we gotta get Harry out there. I want to be the hype man. Yeah, hell yeah. As you can see, India's flexing a little bit. They brought out more guards up front. The Rangers look like absolute badasses though. They're just in all black. The crowd goes wild. Some big's about to go down. Oh yeah. Big things happening. Let's get these drums going, boys. Let's get them going. And whoa. Yeah, I don't know. We got the we got the squad up top. could break out right now, you know? There's some serious energy from both sides. Yeah, exactly. In case things go wrong. Oh, I think Pakistan took the win for the yell in there. Oh, he's saying, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. We're finishing off. And the crowd goes wild. You got the dance move down here? <laughs> rump, up, up, rump, up, 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 up. Oh, he's got his gun ready. We've got the crowd lining up. Pakistan! Moving forward. Oh, we got 2v2 coming up. We got India rolling up on the other side. Oh, they gave a kick. the boys full speed ahead oh they're putting in they're going into second gear there it goes let's go look at that speed and agility oh he kicked his own head there whoa he's able to touch the the uh the device up top oh yeah they're really putting putting india down there Sending in the heavy artillery. We're doing all 25 of them. Anyone know why he's just yelling? Oh, 
full speed ahead. I feel like a war is about to start right now. Ho ho ho. Bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum ba dum. This is intense. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Pakistan versus India, baby. All right, here we go. We've got the flags coming out. Here's the strong flex coming. Pakistan! Pakistan! <laughs> the English guy wants to start yelling Britain. <laughs> England! There we go, baby. Let's step it up. I feel like there's going to be a fight there. It's too hard over it. We're only about our time. Have the sword fight. Oh, are we going to duel it? If they open up the gates, I'm going wild, bro. Oh. I think they're going to open up the gates. Well, it's a thousand likes and Mac will run across the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, right, never. I kind of think they might actually open up these gates. Because they've got military power. They've got everyone looking at the gates. Oh yeah. Open the gates. Oh, open these gates. Oh, we're opening up the gates. Pakistan versus India. They're in the disputed area, undisputed area. Oh, handshake too. And they're back. You can see the uh, army's ready for anything. They're like, if someone tries to run through, you're done, you're over. Doing a strong flex of power here. Something big coming. Drum roll, please. Oh, there we go. Send it, send it. Look at how high he can get his foot up there. He can almost hit the thing up top. His legs are in the head. Yeah, look at that. Look at it. It gets above his head. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. All right, let's see. It looks like the flags are going to be coming down almost simultaneously, I bet. We're having some serious build up here to get the flags down. Oh, right up to the line, right up to the line there. And that means it's going to start coming down. Yeah? Oh, there's some competition there. And here we go. It looks like everyone's lined up. Oh, we're standing up. That means the flag's going to be coming down any second now. Oh, it's going to get loud? Oh, perfect. Here we go. Slowly going down. <laughs> Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. And the flags are almost down. And they have arrived. And the crowd goes wild. There he goes. Let's go. <laughs> Looks like we're getting to the end of the ceremony. Flag is being rushed back to safety. And it seems like it's it's relaxed a little bit at the border. Although the ranger and the um, Indian military are still face to face, seems like the gates are going to be closing real soon. Closing the gates? Yes sir. Yes sir. And what's your good name? My name is Bajan Abasi. Bajan Bajaid? From Rawalpindi. Ah, very nice. My name is Mac from the US. This flag is my car in... In your car? Ah, very nice. That was anyone's last opportunity to run it, run across. Just kidding. Oh, the ranger is still over there. He's making sure nobody else gets across. All right, it seems like we can uh, go down there for photos. Assalamu alaikum. So now we're waiting to get up close to the border. We were trying to figure out why the rangers stayed on one side of the gate, but it's probably because people are getting so close to the border, they want to make sure no one sneaks right through to the other side. All right, so we're getting some sort of little special access over here. To get up there, you really got to fight your way up. We got the boys getting us up, though, the secret security. This is about as close as we're getting to India, guys. You can see it right here is India. And we've got uh, the photo spot. Salam. Oh. All right, we're this close to India. I think they've got a few more people over there. You don't want to piss off these guys, though. They got the big artillery. You can see here, we've got the ranger side, we've got the India side. 
and we're so close. That's the closest I've ever been to another border right here. And everyone's trying to push the line a little bit. All right, seems like they're clearing everyone out. We are right here at the border, guys. That's India right there. We're in Pakistan. Oh, I'm getting pushed out of the way. This works after that. Getting shot ah. All right, seems like we're doing a little wrap around. It's a nice uh, break for the eardrums, because I will say, it gets quite, quite loud. We've got some Indian friends over there. Hello, Indian friends. Hello. Hello. Hello, salam alaikum. Got some kind people over there. Hello, hello. All right, looks like we've got a dispute going on over here. You can get pretty close to the border. All right, yeah, that's, uh, that's about as close as you can get. I see if the bro, can we get one? Yeah, we'll get one here. You're, you're pretty tall. There we go. How we doing? He's pretty tall. <laughs> I'm only up to his chest. Yeah, shukriya, ya. Shukriya. So that's a powerful handshake. Oh, I gotta practice next time. These these handshakes are pretty strong out here. So Asif today was like how Harry was yesterday. They had lines of people waiting to take photos with Harry. Yeah. <laughs> now I know how Asif yeah, feels. Yeah, exactly. Now you know how I feel. Zahid, good to see you. How Zahid. are you? Jeez, yeah. all these guys have powerful handshakes. <laughs> yeah. flag. That is a flag. nice sized flag right there. Yeah, guys, that was a lot of fun seeing that. A lot of energy on both sides and a cool little like finish where you can walk around, get a little closer to the border back there, meet some of the guys in the military, and pretty sweet. We've got the big man here, Kashif. How are you? Whoa, he's got a strong grip too. Ah, that's like I'm gonna have a broken wrist after this. So I gotta practice these grips. Yeah, they're... guys that probably shake a thousand hands a day, so I can imagine. So it was a lot of fun overall. I will say, guys, I like India and Pakistan. So while I was rooting for Pakistan on this side, when I go to India, I'll of course do vice versa. Just wanted to make that clear for any of my Indian followers. Love both countries and can't wait to see it from the other side at some point. Here we go, I think that's pretty much the end of it. We're gonna start walking out, see if we run into anything else. But as you can see, I mean, this is every single night of the week. You have this many people coming and I'm sure traveling from many distances. Military is very nice. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Actually, that popcorn's looking pretty good over there. See if the boys are selling some good stuff. You guys got the good popcorn, yeah? Freshly made? How much? 50 rupees. 50 rupees, that's a bargain. Oh, we'll get, give, give you a sale? All right. Yar, shukriya. Shukriya, shukriya. Yeah, thank you. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Of course, it would be an honor and a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Shukriya, my friend. Oh, got a whole squad over here. I will say, that's one thing, no matter where you are in the world, popcorn tastes pretty consistent. It's got a nice amount of salt on it. Oh, let's go. Did I hit the drum? Yeah, Pakistan. Pakistan! We got a couple shops over here. All right, he's got some nice stuff. We've got some chants going on over here. Oh, we lost the rest of them. I think Harry and I might be the only foreigners out of the thousands of people here, besides the Indians on the other side. I don't remember the walk being this long on the way back. And look, we've got a couple deer hanging out. Hello, little deer. Oh, it's a friendly one. Hiran. A little what? empty. Hiran, Hiran. Hiran, hello. They think Harry has chow. Yeah, boy. The chow meister. You want some? <laughs> What'd you think of it, Harry? Amazing. Yeah? I was not expecting that at all. We didn't know any information going into it. We obviously booked it today. I thought it would be like maybe a hundred people maximum, just like a like a flag bearing ceremony. And then arrived and there was thousands of people and there's this crazy show. So, so much better than I expected. And uh, yeah, really nice atmosphere. Totally agree. It's like so much energy. It just blows my mind that it's every single day yeah. of every year. And I'm very curious, when was the last time there was a conflict at that border? I tried to ask our guys, but they didn't really know. They didn't understand what I was saying. Shukriya Saqib. Thank you. Oh my god, wow, that thing is looking shiny and clean. There's Just not a like single. Mr. Domkar. Uh huh. Yes. Jeez, there's not a single speck of dust on that entire thing. Good man. Take care. Have a good day. He was one of the guys I met inside of the stadium. He was telling me he has a car that goes all the way to the Pakistan China border. I was like, hmm, could be interesting. Stay in touch. And there's our uh, Bugatti. We got the Honda over here bringing us right back to headquarters, Pearl Continental. Mm, smells good. Assalamu alaikum. 
Salam. Good fish? Oh, very nice. Mm, fresh catch, smells good. Salam. Take two Dubai Islamic Bank to see if this place actually works to get money out. So guys, I'm not sure what's going on up here in Lahore. Even Dubai Islamic Bank isn't working for us. So we're gonna try Standard Chartered Bank. It seems like there's quite a few in the area. I just checked on Google Maps. So it's another international bank. And if that doesn't work, it just goes back to my advice. Always carry some of your home currency with you. I don't have some physically with me, but at the hotel, I have uh, USD. So that way, you know, I'm not like actually completely screwed with cash. But also, if you ever run into this issue and you don't have cash on you, usually you can Western Union money too as a backup's backup backup. I think there's Western Union in Pakistan, but I haven't really looked into it, so comment below if you know. And as soon as I stopped recording there, I saw a Western Union bank, so that answers my question. <laughs> yeah, a custom-made tuk-tuk here. Looks like it was made by Apple computers, yeah? I like your Apple talk. Tuk. Tuk talk. Tick tock. Can't even get the words right, guys. Oh yeah, that's McDanklin's we were passing by right now. With the play place. They're the same everywhere you go in the world. All right guys, this is take number like 2,326. Just kidding. But we're gonna see if standard charter works. Oh, you got it? Yeah, thank you. Standard chartered. All right guys, finally I can tell you we have found a bank that actually works to give me my money. Standard, all right. But some of these banks only allow you to take about 20,000 out at a time, so you gotta do multiple transactions. And if you have Charles Schwab, this is not sponsored. If you have Charles Schwab, it refunds the ATM fees. So round two, standard charter bank, you're the best. And so guys, finally, we've got uh, cash, which is good news. So standard chartered, as I said, like five times in a row. That seems to be the most dependable. That's where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Such a cool experience making it over to the border, visiting the Pakistan versus India. Absolute like rivalry. You can see it with the excitement from both sides of the stadium. As I mentioned already, love both countries. So today I was on Pakistan side. Next time when I visit India on the other side, I'll be supporting them too. So I just wanna make sure that's clear for everyone watching this video. And uh, special thanks to our boys up here, drove us, got us here safely. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Shukriya, yaar. Welcome. Shukriya, shukriya. So that just goes to show you guys, I will tell you that if you watch all my videos, sometimes I stay in hostels, sometimes I stay in hotels, sometimes Airbnbs, sometimes guest houses. I completely change it up. You know, this time Harry and I decided to stay in the Pearl Continental and they've done everything they've could to make sure we have an incredible stay. I don't think there's necessarily any risk to go on your own or perceived risk that I saw to the border, but you know, they just wanted to make sure we had an awesome time. We got there safely, had no issues, so that's why they hooked it up with a driver and a uh, guard here too, very nice gentleman. Just goes to show you that Pakistani hospitality lives also within the businesses here, specifically the hospitality industry like the Pearl Continental. So that's where I'm gonna end this video, guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. If you wanna see more videos, both here in Pakistan and all around the world, hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.